planning fam welcome back to my channel today i have a monthly plan with me for the month of october so if you want to see how we're planning for this month stick around because that's coming up right now <laughs> Like I said, today we are going to be doing a plan with me for the month of October and I can't believe we're already here. Like it's cold, it's fallout, I have sweatshirt on and the heat's on and it's just, we're in it. This is it. <laughs> Quick little disclaimer, I just want to say excuse my hands. I hate planning with like ugly fingers and hands but uh I don't know what happened to my knuckle last night but I did something to it so I've got like this little band-aid on to protect it I don't have my nails done right now so we're just gonna go with it <laughs> we're just gonna go with it so as you can see here in front of me I have a ton of stuff and that's because I'm doing another one of my eclectic weird combo spreads and I'm actually kind of excited about this. I did a similar spread to this, I believe it was last year in my passion planner. I will put a link to that video up above in an iCard as well as down below in the description box so you guys can go and see how I did that one as well. This is gonna be kind of similar, but different stickers. I am going with a Mickey Halloween, like a Mickey, like a haunted Mickey uh, motif for this uh, monthly and I'm really excited about it. I was having trouble, I have a lot of Halloween stickers. I don't have like a ton of fall, but I have like a lot of Halloween. <laughs> and I was trying to figure out which ones I wanted to use, how I wanted to incorporate. I do have this Halloween sticker book that Happy Planner released last year, and I have barely used it. So I definitely want to incorporate some of these stickers. I originally was gonna go with like, with like these, but I think I might save these for like an actual spread, like a weekly spread. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know if I'm gonna do it for Halloween week, but like look how cute, like these ghosts with all of those, like it would be so fun. But yeah, so there's just a lot of stickers in the sticker book that I could use. Uh, another thing with this one is there's a countdown sticker book here, a uh, sticker sheet, sorry. Uh, with counting down how many days until Halloween. I might, I was thinking about using them, but the stickers are actually like really big for the monthly. So I'm not sure if I will use that in the end. I might use this little It's Halloween or maybe like I'll count down like the last five days, something like that, but there is that. And then I also have my large Mickey sticker book here. And I think I'm going to use this Mickey right here. He's so cute, just standing there up against a haunted house. And then I have like a bunch of these other Mickeys. And also, if I can find it, I think it's like up in the beginning here. Yeah, I have some of these too. Some of these like open faced Mickeys and I love him because he's like, it's, he's scared. So I thought that'd be really cute to use too. And then we're back with the Fall Harvest sticker book. I know I'm like totally obsessed with the sticker book, you guys, but there is a Halloween sheet in here and it's really cute. And it just matches what I'm going for really well with this gunmetal foil and the skulls and the bats. I just thought it was really cute. And there's a couple more of those in here as well that are not foiled. So I thought that I could incorporate those. And then I have my Mickey Bat Washi, which has like a hollow foil to it. That is from No White Space Stickers. And then I also have this Boo Skinny Washi that I'm gonna use too. So just, and that's basically just to bring out the orange in the orange and pink colors here. So that's what I'm going for. I have no idea where this spread is going to take me. <laughs> we might be a little all over the place, but I'm hoping it'll come together in the end. So let's just get into this. <laughs> all right. So you guys know that I always start with my washi tape. So we're going to start there. I'm actually not going to go with a mind map this month. I just want this month to be fun, I think. And... Just with everything that's kind of been going on, I think I'm gonna give my brain a little bit of a break and some leeway. So that's where we're at there. So we're gonna make this section super fun, like I used to do in the past. So I'm excited to do that. Let's take a sip of my coffee. 
and my stars hollow mug. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we've got some pumpkin spice coffee going on. And I didn't put any sugar in my coffee today. Isn't that crazy? I love oat milk. You don't even need sugar with it. So we're just gonna wipe that little bit out. Put that back there. And I think I'm gonna put this above this. I know daylight savings is here, but so I think I'm going to actually do this above it. And I, I think I'm going to, oh, do I want to overlap it? No, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll leave it. This uh, washi tape has that white paper behind it. Uh, I know why some people use it to protect the rest of the washi tape. So I can respect that, but I hate it. <laughs> it's annoying to have to put it down. It just adds an extra step that you don't really want to mess with, but okay oh look at that it's gone anyway I finished the white part that's so cute and then I'm going to take this little haunted house so cute and I'm gonna peel this off and this is gonna go do I want it on this side or do I want it over here I'm trying to figure out which side of the house I want Mickey on let's grab Mickey Let's grab Mickey on a mess here. And we will figure out what side we want him on. I wish these weren't uh, blue because I probably would have used those. Okay. So if I put him over here, he'd be here. Which, oh, it's okay. And then if I put him here, which is what I was kind of originally thinking. The only thing is he covers up the bottom if I put him on that side. Because I want this down here. And if I do that, you're not going to see that part of the house. So it sounds like we're going to have to go with this way, which is fine. I just want to be able to see the house in the best way. So as we're planning this, it is uh, September 28th, I think, I think, September 28th, Wednesday, yes, which means that Hurricane Ian is on his way very quickly to the Orlando area. So I just want to give a quick shout out to everybody who's out there, who, um, who lives there and is prepping there and just wishing them all the best and the safe and and to stay safe you know what i don't know if i like this because uh, then it covers the kitty cat maybe we will cut let's let's cut his shoe we're cutting his shoe y'all i would use the the razor but i mean not the razor the knife but i'm afraid i might cut the haunted the haunted house sticker i'm gonna go with like right here and hope that that's accurate. Sorry, I know I'm quiet. I'm just trying to get this lined up really good. So cute, love that. And we're just gonna have to cut that little piece off. But anyway, yeah, so Hurricane Ian is making his quick approach to the Orlando area. And I do have family and some friends that I've met along my social media journey down there. And I just want to say to everybody, please stay safe, stay in your house. I hope that you are all prepped. I'm sure you guys are. You guys seem to know what you're doing. Uh, my father-in-law is down there for the first time. He just moved down there a little while ago. So uh, stay safe to him and his fiance. And, you know, I just want to throw that out there because I'm doing a Mickey spread and it's making me think of all of you guys and I just want to say, I love you all. You got this. And be safe. So I just wanted to put that out there. All right. So we have this Halloween is Magical sticker, but it has gold foil in it. So I think we're going to pass on that. We're going to go. I'm thinking, oh, I just saw this. Like, this is awesome. So I was thinking of using this sticker. I hope it looks okay. Ooh, and it like just fits too. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. And then we have those little bats. Oh, this is like, stay down, washy. 
I just don't know if I should use the, the bats from this color because we have so much of that color in here. Ooh, look. Ooh, we'll have to use, maybe we can use those. I just saw those. I wish this wasn't gold. That would have been super cute. We do have happy a happy Halloween sticker in the other sticker book though. Uh, make a Halloween craft, wear a Halloween costume, decorate for Halloween, already did that, carve pumpkins, watch Halloween movies. <gasps> I could put that here with like a black box. That's That could be cute. All right, let's, I'm trying to find, there was a sticker. Maybe it wasn't in this one, maybe it was the other one. So these are the bats that I was talking about. So as you can see, it's like more of that color. Maybe I could put one. Like that. And then save some of the others. I wish that some of these stars, I could probably like cut them off. I know like I'm kind of going a little crazy, you guys. I know. I know. But I always go all out for like my Halloween my Halloween spreads because it's just fun to me. I like, I love them. I'm also trying to get better at being faster for you guys so I don't have to speed up so much as my material. It's like a personal goal I have for myself as I get like a little bit more known in the YouTube community, but it's hard. <laughs> it's hard because it's not, it's not the way I plan usually. I almost wonder if I should put another one here. We will go like this. I am gonna put like another bat, but I just wanna do that. All right, that's good. And then this is like, see how it's flat and flat on both sides? So I'm just gonna create like a little, I know it's not perfect. It probably could have done that a little bit better, but it's okay. And then maybe we will put this up here. Oh, goodness. Let's go ahead and put it right here. That's cute. And that's how you get three stickers out of one, you guys. <laughs> quick little, quick little tip for you there. I do it a lot. All right, let's go into the fall harvest sticker book for a second. And we're going to go into this bigger one because I want foiled and we've got a little bat here oh this is like there's like a little tiny one he's a cute little guy and we're gonna put him there and then we can put a bigger one here so let's get this one. Oh, is he too big he's too big okay that's all right that's all right we have medium sized ones it's all good and should we go this way or should we go, go like this? And then should we do another little one here? Maybe it'll be too much. Maybe we won't. We could, hold on. Oh, these are like groups, okay. Here's that happy Halloween sticker. It was in here, you guys. Found it. Oh, and there's a foil one here too. Okay, we have two of them. Look at this little hat. Almost wonder light bulb from minions <laughs> okay i'm just cutting this and we're going to put the oh you know what i just realized there now see now i'm gonna have an issue because now i feel like i need a little something there like a tiny little thing up here shoot okay let's do this all right maybe we'll Maybe we'll use the, the little knife on this one. That makes me feel a little bit better. And then we can use this somewhere else. So we'll just save that. I have like all my tools over here. <laughs> I'm using all of them today, you guys. All right. All right. So next up, uh, this is where I get a little bit stuck. I really want to put my boxes down. There is more going on here. I know Skylar has a dance on the 7th and Aiden's got a homecoming too. And this isn't happening now. I have a birthday party here. There's a lot of stuff. So I want to make sure that I have enough boxes. Let's dip into this one. And then I'm probably going to need, I'll use this little spider for the birthday party. 
And I'm probably going to need to pull some like plain boxes too because, yeah, I can use like some of the circle ones too. Like maybe we can pull this gray one and put this, I'm trying to think, what else do I have going on on this side? Do, 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 do. I'm not going to put Skylar's like practices and games in here because they're every single night. That'll be pointless. So I'm feeling like I need to put like one of these here and then maybe like a skinny black box. That's kind of what I'm feeling like I need to do. All right, let's take these two and let's look like this. So we'll put little spider guy up here and that can be for that. And then this with it. Like so. And then maybe we'll put a pink one for her doctor's appointment on Monday. I just realized I'm putting gold foil in. Yeah, what can you do? What can you do? I'm gonna take this one and then I'm gonna take this one. And I am actually gonna put this on this day. Um, I want to cut it so it fits right. And this, these stickers are meant for the Happy Planner. So when I use them in the Passion Planner, I will either like cover it in its entirety or I will cut it. And in this instance, I'm cutting it. And you kind of just have to roll with it. Ta-da! It's not perfect, but I probably could have lined that up a little bit better. But now it's gonna come up, so we'll just we're just gonna leave it. All right, don't need this piece. And then for Monday the third, we're gonna put this. I didn't realize how much I really had going on for October until just now. Like I'm now like seeing like, holy moly. Oh, I put Aiden's homecoming over here. So his homecoming is on the 8th. Skylar's is on the 7th. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's do, should we do like one long box? Like I almost wonder, I'm also supposed to be going to my aunt's on Thursday. Shoot. Maybe we'll go the following week. It's just too much in one day. Let's put a plain, maybe like a plain black box with a decor with a decoration. Oh, you know what I could do? Hold on, I have an idea. I have an idea, y'all. Oop, that's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be here. I have an idea. Can I get away with that? Like I feel like I can. And then I can put another one on this side. I feel like I could get away with this. Like I feel like I could. I'm gonna go for it. I don't wanna keep second guessing myself. And I know I'm blocking the 15, but it's okay. Like that. You guys probably saw my face there, sorry. Okay, and then over here, I'm thinking like here. Not that there's anything going on there, but I do need to add more washi. How did I do it last month? Just curious. Just curious. Oh, I did skinny there. How did I do it the following month? Same thing. Okay, we're gonna go with my original thought. Put this there. Obviously, we're gonna have to write. This is the fifteenth. And this is the 26th. And then let's do this. And don't worry, I will find a spot to do more of those bats. Okay, and then we're gonna get a plain black box. Let me just do another little one, I think, to bring that size over. And I'm just, I don't know how much of this you guys can see. Hopefully you can, but I'm just going to put it a little bit above Mickey. And then I am going to get that same skull.
skull. Should we do clear and put in him like right here? I like that. That's cute. We are going to have to get a clear sticker to go over here. Maybe, um, maybe the bats. Let's copy what's on that side and put the bats right there. Yeah, that's really cute. I like that. We are gonna have to figure out which Halloween sticker we wanna put here. I don't know if I want it to be foil or not. We still need a box here and we need a box here. I'm thinking orange, but we have, we have these two. So that's cool. Maybe we should do a circle, one of those circle ones for over there. We have this little one that says boo. Or should we do the stars? I know it's foil. Let's use this little boo one. Guys, there is like so much going on this month. Holy camoly. Crazy. All right, and then we we're gonna do an orange one up here. Should we do the cat or should we save? Maybe we should do the big box over there and do another little one. Cause I don't even know if this is happening yet. This was just something that I was kind of hoping we could do. So maybe we just use one of those small stickers that we just saw. <gasps> those are so cute. Okay, here's that orange one with the stars. I think I'm just gonna use this one. Oh, this one's super tiny, okay. Cause I really don't know if we're gonna be able to do this now, which is unfortunate, but I wanna put that there and then I wanna do another box because we will do. So the reason that I am doing that is because Sunday, there's no sticky note there, but it's me and my husband's wedding anniversary. It's officially seven years married together for eh, too long. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love my husband. <laughs> but yes, it is our, ah, oh, these are cute. Look at these. Uh, it is me and my husband's wedding anniversary. I love this. And I am so happy, you know, just so grateful that we've made it this far. And he's just awesome. And we really wanted to go to Salem to celebrate with the kids. But I just, I honestly don't know if it's going to happen at this point, which is a bummer but you know we can't control finances and that's just the reality of it so you know i like love all of these stickers like i really wanted to like i would really love to use this but it's huge plus i really should bring in more of those other stickers i mean it would fit it would fit i almost think it might be too, too much maybe too much too much i do have to get that washi in. Maybe we should break for a minute. Let's get that orange. Oh, I have this one too. All right. I'm thinking the orange cat. Well, the orange box with the cat. Put it over here. Or maybe I could put it right here in the things to learn. That's a good way to carry it over. That's cute because there's so many boxes over here. I was just trying to find a way to like bring more in. We do have a little strip that says hello pumpkin. Okay, let's see if this will fit up here. I love it if it would. So close. I'm gonna turn the book around, you guys. How does it look? Oh, that looks really cute. Do I do it above? I guess I have to, right? And then this. Yes, this can go in here in this box. All right, we're on a roll now, guys. We're on a roll. You guys, it looks so cute. <laughs> All right, now you can see I pulled this a little bit too much because it's it curled, but it's okay. Uh, let's 
I feel like I'm getting overpowered by sticky notes at this point now. Maybe I should fill some stuff in. I do want to bring some more of these bats over. And I probably should check my calendar because I feel like I'm forgetting things. I'm going to fill some of this out and I'll be right back. All right, so we've got a bunch of stuff written in. I didn't put anything in here yet because I don't know if I have anything going on. If I do, I wanted to leave it blank. And if I don't, it'll we can just put like a quote in there or something. I just have to go back and check my schedule. But so far, I think that's everything. I do want to put us another strip of these in here. So I don't know if I want to do like just plain or another word one. So we have this one that says, let's go to the pumpkin patch. And we have this one that says Halloween is magical. I really kind of love that one. So I'm leaning towards that. Or we could just do plain. Ah, right there. I think I want to do the words though. I think that's what I'm going to do. And we're just going to put this right here. I think this is the perfect spot for that. so cute. I do feel like there's a lot of black on this side, so I need to put something black over here, which is kind of leading me towards this Happy Halloween sticker. And I could put this spooky season in there. I want to see what's on this one. I do have to use this. Like that? Does that look weird? Yeah, whatever. It's fine. It can stay. I don't know if I want to use any more of those though. Not really sure if I'm a fan of that. I think I'm done with this one just because I, I like the idea of using the clear a little bit better. I'm kind of thinking, this is what I'm thinking, taking this, it's a Hall it's Halloween sticker with that foil and using this happy Halloween. Whiting out this one and then putting this like this. I think that's what I'm going to do. I just like this. I think that that's really cute. And that brings in that black foil. We're going with that. I need to decide if I want to put spooky season in that box. I don't even know if it would fit. All right, it would fit. So we're going to think about that. We need to get, we need to go back into the Halloween book. And then I think we need more Mickey's. And I do want to get another stars and I think we should cut it, we should cut it again. All right, we need a Mickey. We need spooky Mickey. It's time to get spooky Mickey. We need spooky Mickey. We need Mickey. He's scared. He's scared. There's too many bats and skeletons and spiders. <laughs> kind of thinking right here. Just need to more white out. <laughs> Do you guys keep these like random holidays in your monthlies? I sometimes leave them, but if they're not important to me, and we'll just write 18. Yeah, that's really cute. And then we'll just write, just do like a little 18 right there. So stinking cute, you guys. I don't feel like I'm missing anything at this point. I want to check my previous monthly just to kind of see. I think that that's good. Maybe we should put like a little, a little foiled bat. We don't have, I think there was another one in here. We don't have any of him over there. Let's use this little guy. And then maybe we'll put, cause there's another one too. I am still kind of debating on putting the broom here. Look at that. Look at that. All right, the broom. 
Do we do it? Do we not do it? I have this and I also have a clear one too. But the clear one is not foiled. Tonight we fly. Tonight we fly. <laughs> There's stickers all over here. <laughs> I need, I need to put the other broom down here now because it's going to irk me. <laughs> this is what happens is sometimes this is how I end up getting away from myself, you guys, because I try to fill in where I want something and then it's missing that balance. So I try to, I end up overcompensating. Let's, let's be honest in other spots. Do we have, let's see in here, I think. So cute. All right, I am just ripping some washi. I really want to put some right here, but it's going to block the 15. All right, let's put it here. I feel like it needed like an extra dose of that. Okay, I just feel like it needed one more extra thing. All right, I am going to check my... um. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go check my phone calendar to see if I have any other things going on for this month. All right, you guys know I record my phone, so I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I figured out what I forgot. <laughs> I figured out what I forgot. So, so my husband's birthday is on the 25th. I'm going to take one of these tiny little stars. There's the dot. And we're going to go ahead and put it right here with these fun letters. And hopefully there'll be enough room in the box to do a quote. We will have to wait and see. And I'm just going to write in, right on the paper, right on the box. Cannot believe I almost forgot that. <laughs> he would have killed me. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this. And we are going to use the spooky season one. It's not going to be perfectly in the box, but that's okay. Spooky season. And then since we added that little candy corn, we're going to go ahead and do some candy corn. Maybe we'll do, maybe we'll do a few spiders too. All right, you guys, the last thing I want to do is just add a little bit more of this Boo Washi in. So I think I'm going to bring it up top. I think we're done. <laughs> I think we're done. I probably should have added like more washi up here, but I was like, I didn't want to cover the days of the week. So we're all good. All right. So for work goal is going to be to get job slash start making more money because it's been 
tough, you guys. And then for personal goal, I'm not really sure. All right, I think I'm gonna put continue self growth and stay motivated. I'm not gonna be able to spell it all, but I get the idea. All right, so that's for my self growth. And then the reason I'm filling this out with you guys, because I want you to see that it's not, it's not always just before the pen. Like once I shut off the camera, I fill this out. And I think that it's important for you guys to see me fill out this passion planner because I know a huge following that of a huge following of mine is happy planner following and happy planner community. But I really want to showcase not just to the passion planner community that follows me, but to you happy planners as well. Like this planner is great for us people who have mental health stuff that we're in our own heads a lot. If you've got ADHD, this is a really positive thing that I love about passion planner. And that's what keeps me in their community, in their loop. So every month I give myself a focus and uh, for both personal and work. And for the monthlies, you get a people to see box and a places to go box. And I like this because it just makes things fun and it's good for like a quick glance. Because sometimes when you do so many stickers like this, it gets a little busy. And at least for me, because I possibly could have ADHD, it it's difficult for me to like just stare at one spot like okay where am I looking at again <laughs> in this box you can put like if you're going to your friend's house who you haven't seen in a while or maybe you're going to Disney and you're going to go see Mickey Mouse right Mickey Mouse maybe you are going to a very important doctor's office you could write down that you're going to go see which doctor that is things that are important that you want to stand out is what I would put in that box. And if you're not seeing anybody, that's a big deal. Like obviously we see our families that we live with and our kids consistently. You don't have to put that in there. You could throw it in a quote or you could put a deco sticker in. For me, I am seeing a couple of people this month. So I want to write that in. All right, so I wrote in who I'm planning on seeing this month. And the reason I wrote those down is because my Aunt Carla and my mom, I'm seeing them for Disney prep. So that's gonna be exciting. And then my friend Melissa, her son's birthday party is coming up shortly. And we're gonna be able to see her and their family for Ethan's birthday party. So that basically is what stands out for me. Places to go is kind of like up in the air right now. We are trying to get to Salem. But like I said in the beginning of the video, we have some financial stuff that we have to figure out. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make it. I am going to write it in here though, because I would really like to try to. Uh, so I'll probably put Salem and then question mark. And then I'm also going to put in here uh, my daughter's uh, course concert, because I think that's really fun to notate. I always look forward to those. So I want to put that in here as well. Okay, y'all, there you have it. It's done. It looks so cute. Like I said, if you guys uh, have not seen my plan with me from last year that I did in my passion planner for the Halloween uh, motif, make sure you go and check that one out because that one's really cute too. That one's a little less busy. So if you're someone who's a little bit more minimal minimalistic, that might be one for you to check out because it's less stickers. This month and this year is just really crazy. My daughter's in middle school now, so she has a ton of stuff going on on top of my son. And we have a Disney trip coming up in November. So it's just a very busy month for me this month. And that's why it's pretty chaotic. Plus there's doctor's appointments in here as well. So just keep that in mind. There's a lot of things that I had to notate for October. That's why it's super busy. For the priority project section, I just do major to-dos that I want to get done in October or that month. I will do those off camera, but that's usually what I use these for. It's just a monthly to-do list. So if you guys are looking for some tips, you could also use it for habit tracking if you want to track certain things for the month, stuff like that. So really, really cute. I love how Mickey is like all scared because he's got like the haunted house and the bats and the spiders and the black cat. And 
I don't know. I just, in the skulls, I just think he's so cute. I love it. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help boost my channel to other viewers just like you and I. And if you're new here, thank you so much for checking out the video. I would love it if you joined my Planny fam by hitting the subscribe button down below. And don't forget that bell notification too so you guys don't miss any future videos that I post. All right, y'all. I will see you in the next one. Happy planning and stay magical. Bye.